What? Are you editing without a preview window? In this video, I'm going to show you 5 most hidden features in Filmora 12. Let's get started. It doesn't matter how good you might be when it comes to Filmora, believe me, 60% of these features are probably new to you. The first one on my list is, how to increase or decrease digits when animating. Here I have these two images in my timeline. Let's say I want to animate the above image. I double-click the image and go transform, or just click Alter K from the keyboard. Then a keyframe will be automatically added. If I want to animate this image to the left side, I have to decrease the exposition. But there is a most excellent way of doing this. Just move your mouse on the figures, left-click your mouse and move it to the side you desire. It's just that simple. This method doesn't work on transform only, but also on text line spacing, line height and more. Number 2 on the list about the preview window. When it comes to your viewing experience or software displaying, Filmora 12 didn't only upgrade to layouts, but you can now do what is more than a zoom. Move your mouse just above the view frame, and it will change into a dragging hand tool, then left-click the mouse and drag the preview screen down. Now you can maximize it and continue editing with a closer look as it can be. If you want to confuse people, just minimize and continue editing. What? Coming to number 3 on my list, here is something that probably bothered you maybe for a day or two. Finding sample colors. Yes, it's true that we used to find our sample colors right here without many clicks. But now, go stock media and click film stock. You will find them here, and as you can see they are categorized, the solid color in their folder, the gradient and the green screen also in their own folder. Coming on number 4, here is a scaling trick. Here you are trying to scale your image so that it fits as a background of this text. Now you realize that the transform is not allowing you to scale the Y position on its own, nor the X position on its own. It's very simple, it means the scale is locked for both X and Y positions. So you just go transform and by clicking here, you will have it unlocked. Now you go back to your preview screen and scale. Here is the last one guys, number 5, that's motion graphics and after this I'm going to give you the very last tip. In Filmora 11 we didn't have the motion graphics, but you could find something similar in the elements folder. So in this version 12, we have more motion graphics in their own specific folder. Let's go again to stock media and click film stock, and here you will find motion graphics, some short videos, patterns and more. Now if you will check out my very next upload, you will see a well-detailed video about the motion graphics in Filmora. For your last tip, Filmora version 12 brought the new transitions which are specifically for vertical videos, that means those who like YouTube shorts and Instagram reels are covered. Just go transitions, click here on transitions, you will see this vertical, and you will find them in this folder. Now one last thing, I will leave to you this my most popular video so far and I hope you will click it and enjoy.